Hello everyone and welcome back to another Movie Nights movie review. Today we're going to be talking about Challengers. This is directed by Luca Guadagino, forgive me if I said that wrong, and uh, it's written by Justin Kariskas, again, sorry if I said it wrong, and it stars Zendaya, Mike Face, and Josh O'Connor. And this film is about Tashi, a former tennis prodigy turned coach, is married to a champion on a losing streak. Her strategy for her husband's redemption takes a surprising turn when he must face off against his former best friend and Tashi's former boyfriend. But... Is the movie worth seeing? And fuck yes, it is. Guys, I loved this movie. I fucking love Challengers. And I'm a bit surprised to say that. I didn't have insane expectations going in. I mean, I knew the talent involved. Um, Luca's a great filmmaker and the cast is great. And I was like, okay, like this will be good, you know. But like I, this might be my second favorite movie of the year so far behind Doom Part 2. This film is great. Something that makes the film so great are the incredible performances. Zendaya fucking owns this movie. This is the best performance that I've ever seen her give. She's unbelievable in it. Both Mike Face and Josh O'Connor also do excellent work here. And all three of them have such profound chemistry within each other. You can split two of them off. You can have all three of them. You can have one by themselves. They, they all are just kind of made for these characters. Another driving force is how the story is told. The, the story is told very non-linearly. And when the movie started, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I like this choice. And then five minutes later, I was like, fucking never mind. This is the only way to tell the story. Fucking keep going, keep going. And the way that it presents information and kind of allows itself to invite the audience into the story it's telling was done extremely well. Well, the editing. This movie is edited perfectly, and there's a great joke in the movie that is impossible unless it is edited properly, and it's it's so funny. It's when, I won't give the joke away, but uh, I, I'll say it involves Zendaya showing up to a hotel to see the boys. That joke is hilarious. Uh, the score was also incredibly well done. It's done by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, Nine Inch Nails. Um, the drops of the music are really great and the songs themselves kind of just breathe intensity because this is also a movie that heavily involves tennis and the tennis matches are pretty fucking awesome and they're shot very well. And none of the tennis matches look the same. I, each tennis match that's filmed kind of reflects the mindset of the players and which I thought was a very interesting choice. And there's something just so invigorating about watching just a bunch of awful toxic people doing awful toxic things and you're you go through a whole range of emotions of feeling bad for this character and then being like oh no fuck that character and then you feel bad for this character or fuck that character and you just keep going back and forth and back and forth and the way that it just continually moves i could have watched another hour of the movie i could have easily watched another hour it was so entertaining it was so riveting so much fun the movie's so good that it earns melodrama. There are some sequences that feel very melodramatic and it earns them. And you kind of applaud to yourself when they do it. Like, yes, you should have done that. That's exactly what should have happened. And a lot of the backbone of the movie relies on the believability of Josh O'Connor and Mike Face and their friendship. And you buy every word they say and every breath they take in this movie. And Zendaya's character is the most fascinating character in the movie and she gives the best performance. And there are so many sequences early on, I'm going to be vague, I'm not going to spoil anything, where you see what her character is capable of, not just physically, but mentally, kind of being this kind of puppet master type character. And while you see that as an audience, those seeds being planted, the characters are so blind to it because it's Zendaya in front of them. The way that it plays out is so intriguing, and you can't help but just want to keep watching what's going to happen. I only really have two very small negatives with the movie. The middle of the movie does slow down a little bit, which does happen with a lot of movies, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing it just kind of doesn't maintain that pace that you were kind of hoping it would keep although for the most part the film's paced phenomenally the, the only thing that actually really bugged me in the movie when it comes to like modern day and the timeline of this movie the characters are all supposed to be in their what is seemingly like their early 30s and you buy that they look like they're in their early 30s but then when they flash back to when they're 18 years old which is when a lot of the story takes place at least when Zendaya's character is 18 years old they just look the same. <laughs> like they all just look like hot young actors. That's what all they that's all they look like. And like, yes, like the the production team and the costume team and the makeup team, like they, they do a good job of making them look distinctly different. But it's just like, okay, so they do Zendaya's makeup a little different and you know it's her. <laughs> like it's it, it it was just kind of a like something that you kinda of have to accept when you watch the movie of just like, okay, that's 
I get it. This is what we're doing. Let's let's go. Let's move on now. But other than that, I was fucking sucked into this movie, guys. I loved every second of it. And I hope that you guys do as well. Uh, whenever you do get a chance to see the movie, please leave comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and see what you thought of it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next review.